Hi! Hello everyone, and welcome to yet another devlog. Today we're gonna keep it super simple, I'm not even gonna do any drawing or game development, I'm just gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk at the camera. Yay. One of the most common questions I get asked is, how did you come up with this idea? It is weird. When I first started getting into game development, I came up with a couple of really cool ideas that are near and dear to my heart, and I'm gonna make those games. But I wanted something a little lighter and goofier and funnier to start with, also to teach me how to make games. And so I came up with this idea that I would do something simple, like a 2D platformer. But what was it gonna be about? I was actually standing in my friend's living room, brainstorming to myself game ideas. What is the market missing? And I came up with the idea that maybe uh, there could be a game that intentionally grossed you out that was just nasty. And not in a gory horror sort of way, that already exists, but something that was just gross. Just intentionally nasty. Surely there's someone out there who wants to get grossed out while they play a video game. I don't know. Mold and gunk and junk and grime came to mind and then I thought, okay, what about the character? The character could be something like a cockroach because cockroaches are nasty and everyone hates them. Thinking about grossness, thinking about the platformer idea, I kind of merged the two and thought, okay, well, what's something that a cockroach could find themselves inside of that lends itself well to platforming? And of course, a refrigerator came to mind. So a story about a cockroach inside a fridge was born. Since then, I have obviously adjusted the initial concept to not be about grossing you out, but the idea it kind of is gross, but the visuals aren't meant to be. It has kind of turned into a more visual or stylized appearance. Carl, you know, originally was meant to look disgusting, but he has evolved over time to be a lot more cute and friendly looking. So hopefully that appeals to a broader audience. But the idea and the core of it is still kind of nasty and gross when you think about it. That is how I came up with Road Trade. I also have to say thank you to my friend Paul, who that same day brainstormed with me the story and what it could be. And we came up with a whole bunch of ideas for gameplay and characters and dialogue, a lot of which has and will make its way into the game. Hopefully you enjoyed this little bit of insight into how Road Trade originally was conceived. Also, don't forget to go out to Steam and wishlist the game. That helps a lot. Like and subscribe on the YouTube channel pointing down like they do. I don't know where the thing is. It's somewhere down there. If you uh, want to see more of my face talking at you on the internet, please uh, consider heading over to my Patreon and uh, signing up for whatever tier you feel would be best. If you have any uh, questions or comments, hit me up on my socials and ask away. Thank you, my friends. Thank you for your support. Oh my gosh. I don't have kombucha. I'm gonna go get some kombucha. I'm gonna turn off the video first, but I'm gonna get some kombucha. All right, thanks. Have a lovely day. Bye.